Alrighty, I think I'll bring you back for my take on the copper pipe soft jaws that most people have made and used or seen. Uh, my other lathe, I made a set you know, many years ago, it was a smaller chuck, so it was half inch pipe. And I, I make them so they fit nice tight. These I stretch out because I did use them on this chuck because I needed them the other day and I didn't make a set yet for the new machine. So I figured today would be a good day. And when I made that, made those other soft jaws, I kept the little cutoffs. So, I, you know, you just use these for little shims for um, other chucks and emergency soft jaws and they work fine, worth keeping around. So on this lathe, what I did already, I got the three quarter inch pipe solder on, you know, unions. And I practiced one on already, make sure I was, my design was good and it was going to work out. So I have stages here. I didn't want to record the cutting because it either I'm using a little 10 inch bench top band saw. And it's, you know, buried, since I moved all these machines around, it's buried in the corner, so I'm working with it buried over there, so it's really loud and squealing, so I didn't want to record that. And I did a couple cuts on the little vise, with the good old hacksaw blade. I put just tape over it, used by hand, get better feel for these little things to have the big handle on there. Because when you tighten up the jaw too much, it, as you cut, it crimps down the blade, so you have to leave it loose. And use very fine touch. So I didn't want to torture you guys through that, but I figured I'd do the steps. So luckily on my uh, chuck here, it's exactly half cut in half is perfect. These are the pipes with the stop. There's a little dimple in there. Um, so it gives you the halfway point pre marked. So I just put the blue mark there to show you on camera. Then I cut them in half, which this is one cut in half. Then the next thing I do, I slice it right down, it, you know, right down the middle. And that's where you get your split. And then you measure up to the basically the second, you know, drop down. Yeah, that's the height you want to cut it at. So you basically put it up there, measure down. On this one, it's just a hair off centered, so you don't have to measure exactly. So I just cut that. So you can see it's like a cross shape. You cut half, like halfway through the pipe. And that's a crisscross shape you get. So that's a step. Then once you get to that point, I have gloves on because I deburred and sanded. But there's still some sharp edges here, and you're uh, grabbing these good and bending, so I don't want any more cuts than I already have. So you have to remember, you want to grab the, the bigger pot that goes on the base. That's the one you first want to strain out, so you, when you cut off, mine are off-centered, so depending on what you're doing, you start bending those out. I right, just do a little bit, put one finger in there, just get it started bending it. These are long needle nose pliers. Regular ones are fine, but I like the long ones. Then once you get it bent out a little bit, then you just put them in straight. And you let the, the flat tool do the work for you. That's why I'm using the needle nose pliers because you can reach in there. And you squeeze them. It gives you the flat, and if you're not cut perfectly on that second cut, you make the cross, you'll get two different heights. But if you want to get picky after it's all together, you can trim them down, make them look nice and even. I keep them a little bent inwards so it's tight. Then you loosen up your chuck. them in there then what you do and this is the secret is you snug them up real good and it puts the bend on the nose that you're looking for and you get 
a small detail hammer. I picked up this whole eight ounce brass hammer. I never thought I'd find a use for it, but believe it or not, it comes in happy. I mean, it comes in handy for this job. So you lay your vice down, you start right at the close to the edge as you can get. Not banging it so it starts getting tight. And you the more you do with these, you have to once you loosen the ones you already did will get a little loose and out of shape. So you just always have to go back and reshape them. But once you get them there, they can usually stay there pretty good. spread out a little bit so but when I take it off you'll squeeze it back together but once you get to this point then you want to fold over the, the top whichever one's bent in more you fold that over first you want to do it right at the corner so it gets a nice tight bend there then you go to the other side if it squeezes out a little bit push it in by hand before you start banging it So you just do that. Once you take them off, you squeeze them together, and you put them back on. You know, you keep on working to it. You can slide them on and off, nice and tight. That's all you want. And that's basically my take on it. And go do the cross cut on this one. Make the third one. I won't torture you and make you listen to me saw that. So I'll turn off the camera and I'll bring you back. Okay, back from the bandsaw. Yeah, this one cut. Same idea, repeating. Find the bigger half. And bend up, clamp straight. Loosen up your jaws. Install. Now with the third one in there, you want to get as tight as possible. This is one that helps when the jaw, when the chuck is on the lathe. But I'm set up for something different at the moment. And adjust the ones you already have in there. Five inch chuck. It seems like it has bigger jaws than other ones. So I had to use a three quarter inch pipe, but basically they're cheap enough. You go to the store, buy three of each. You really need just two of each, but you never know. You're gonna mess up one maybe. They yeah, have a buck a piece, so and then you have plenty in stock. Like I have, I bought six of the three quarter inch ones and three more half inch ones just in case I needed them and um, I have an, another chuck to make them for and I got my rotating table ones I'll probably take the half inch ones so that's why I bought plenty of them and then yeah so this one comes up nice and easily but bend these in and when you put them on you just spread them in and it holds it in place nice this one's nice and tight but that one comes off easily so bend them to fit and this one I'll just have to get 
little pry off here. That's the first one I made, so that one is in there nice and tight. But let's just say, once you take it off once, put it back on, they usually loosen up. So there's that. So there's my take on the soft jaws. They stay in place upside down. So it's nice when they're nice and tight, so when you set up, you don't have to hold them. And um, copper pipe unions are pretty well, you know, same thickness, so they're pretty uniform, so they work out good for this. So I know there's a million of people, million videos of this, but I figured I'd make my own show it because the ones I made a couple years ago, you never had to rework them; they always work good. So I figured I'd make another set. So hope you have a good day and find this useful.